Hi everyone and welcome to our next module, Global Climate Change. So I personally love teaching this unit, especially in the year 2015, because this is still considered a controversial topic. It is by far the most controversial thing we are going to talk about this semester. In fact, two weeks ago, the Supreme Court just actually saw a case that had to do heavily with global climate change. Didn't really go through in our favor, but that's okay. So what my goal is for this unit is that hopefully I will be able to present all of this information to you. You'll be able to look at data based on a carbon dioxide dioxide concentration levels. You'll be able to look at data versus temperature change. And you'll be able to put it all together and hopefully come up with an informed decision for yourself on what you personally believe is climate change real or not real. And the way we're going to do that is by talking about incident radiation. So we have all this radiation coming in from the sun and a number of things can happen. Uh, initially it can be reflected by the atmosphere or it can be absorbed by the atmosphere. Once it gets through the atmosphere it could go to the surface of the earth where we can either reflect the radiation back outward then could be absorbed by the atmosphere or down here we can actually absorb this radiation into the earth's surface. But a number of different things can happen. After we talk about that we're going to talk about the actual atmosphere. What are our major greenhouse gases? We're going to talk about them if they're natural sources or anthropogenic sources. We talk about carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and those CFCs come back again, so we're going to talk about those. We're going to talk about these molecules in terms of their molecular geometry and which modes absorb our IR radiation, which ones don't. Why does something absorb IR radiation? And at the very end of this module, we're going to talk about our legislator. So what has our U.S. government done? What has our government done as a nation, as a whole, and even further as a globe? What have we done as a group, as an entire community on this planet to try to deal with this global climate change? But like I said, at the end of this module, my entire goal is for you personally as a student to have a well-informed opinion for yourself on whether or not global climate change is a thing or not, and then personally, what can you do to make the planet a better place? Good luck, guys. I love this unit. I hope you like it. Take care of yourself and drink lots and lots of water.